Hi guys, and I know this isn't my normal crappy Dragon Ball What If, and I know you have all subscribed to watch them, um, but I want to branch out a bit, so I've decided to try doing some Naruto What Ifs. As I like the show, I have pretty good knowledge on the show, plus I have a friend who can fact check me because it's his favourite show. It means that if any of my knowledge is wrong, he can correct me because he knows it better than I do. Now, this isn't the only anime I want to branch out and do. I also want to try doing some My Hero What Ifs, because My Hero is probably my favourite show following Dragon Ball. So, I want to try and get down and branch out a little bit. But for now, I'm sticking with just Dragon Ball, and I'm going to experiment with Naruto a little bit. Um, but don't worry, Dragon Ball will still be coming out, like I've already mentioned, so don't think that some What Ifs are going to end. It's just because I've got What Ifs ending in the near foreseeable future so i need some things on hold and i've got a few ideas already pre-written so i hope everyone's looking forward to this now hopefully this will work and i'll get us going now now it's a pretty easy reason why this switch would happen when it comes to picking team leaders for team 7 Hiruzen naturally wants to choose kakashi however some interference from Danzo, who hears about the current team 7 being formed has a suggestion himself he knows that the Nine Tails brat is ended up in this team, and he believes that he has two agents perfect for monitoring the Nine Tails. With him presenting the idea of Yamato leading Team Seven, and not only will Yamato be leading it, but he offers the idea of Sai joining the team. Since the Nine Tail boy is on this team, Yamato will keep a good eye on him and be able to keep him pretty well contained thanks to his unique Geki Genkai. And Sai would give the group a bit of added power, and plus, it would be a good way for Sai to grow as a person. Hiruzen, hearing this, decides to think it over. This isn't a bad argument, and even though he doesn't like Danzo, he's a member of the council. And these are some pretty good points. So he starts going through his already set up teams, pondering over what to do, knowing Danzo is going to be up to something else, that there is another reason behind this suggestion. Thinking it could be something to do with Sasuke, he thinks longer and thinks harder on it. But also understands that Yamato would be a great way to keep the Nine Tails under control. And also make it so Naruto has a much safer time when outside of the village. With him also knowing that Sai could be a good way to teach Sasuke that there are more people his age stronger than him. After a night of planning, he thinks and decides that if he's going to agree with Donzo's plan, he wants to set some conditions up with Yamato. Danzo, hearing this, obviously agrees and tells Yamato to have this meeting. Both Hiruzen and Yamato have the meeting, and of course, the Ombu member agrees to all of the third Hokage's arrangements. And this makes Hiruzen feel a bit more comfortable and officially signs Yamato off as Team 7 new leader. With the day of the teams forming happening, with some minor changes happening in other teams, but the way I'll cover this is by giving the leader of each team and the members in it. Now of course we've got Team 7. With Yamato being the new leader, alongside his team being Naruto, Sasuke and Sai as the students. I know normally in the original series there was one Konoichi per team. However, in this timeline I'm doing it slightly different. Plus in Baruto there is a team with no Konoichi in the team. So I'm just going off that. With Naruto and Sasuke kind of annoyed that they've been put together, and also not knowing who the hell Sai is, but interested to meet him. Team 8 will be led by Kakashi, students being Kiba, Hinata and Shino. Team 10 is led by Asuma, with Shikamaru, Choji and Sakura as the students. And another team, known as Team 5, led by Kurinai, with Ino and two other random ninjas being part of this team. Now the reason Eno has been swapped out is because me and my friend talked it out. I believe that at this point, if both Sakura and Eno were to go against one another, Sakura just wins overall. So we put her on the team with Asuma over Eno, as it just made a bit more sense and it keeps her in it a little bit more. Don't count Eno out completely as she may appear later on, but for now she isn't part of any major events and will most likely sit on the side for a while. Now, another thing I want to address is the fact that Kakashi is leading Team 8 instead of Kurinai. The reason this is, is because we both believe that Kakashi is not only a lot stronger, but much more well equipped to lead this team than Kurinai is. 
I want you all to think about it. First off, we have Shino, who kind of could match with Kakashi's whole vibe. A silent kind of ninja covering most of their face and could learn a lot from Kakashi as a ninja. Next, we have the likes of Hinata, who would have someone to train alongside with another Aigeki Genkai, which would allow her to grow a lot stronger. And finally, Kiba, who benefits from the summoning jutsu that Kakashi has, which is dogs. This means that he has another training partner which has somewhat similar fighting styles or some fighting tips he could give. So this leads to Kakashi just being the much better option for this team. So this is why we have done that. Anyway, with Yamato being the leader of Naruto and Sasuke, they don't actually have to wait around like they did in canon. With him eventually showing up early, in fact. With him bringing Sai along with him before calling out the two Genin's name, with Yamato gesturing for them to follow him. As the boys do so, with them he all heading outside and soon onto the main street, where Yamato introduces himself properly. Going to say, so, I'm Yamato, I'm your new team leader. And this is Sai, he's also your new teammate. He's around your age, so I hope you will all get along. With Naruto and Sasuke a bit caught off guard by this fast introduction, however, Naruto doesn't waste a second as he quickly proclaims, I'm Naruto Uzumaki, and I'm going to be Hokage. With Sasuke shaking his head, with him already fed up of Naruto. However, Sai looks curiously, saying, Becoming Hokage requires a lot of strength. And from what I've heard, you struggle making a basic clone. This getting a smirk out of Sasuke and pissing Naruto off, who goes to use a shadow clone. However, Yamato nervously stops it, with him sweating a little bit, saying, Not a bad idea to share our goals, Naruto. I'll share mine next. I want to be someone who would have can bring this village happiness and I want to be acknowledged for it. With him sharing this with the group he looks over to Sasuke with the Uchiha scoffing and saying I want to kill someone. Which piques everyone's interest however he doesn't go too much more into it. With everyone kind of confused they just look over to Sai. With Naruto saying well what's your stupid goal then? Sai looks back at the Uzumaki saying I want to perfect my art. With this being confusing to Naruto, who doesn't know a lot about Sai other than this quick introduction, he shouts out saying, Well, I bet with your shitty attitude, your art sucks. With Naruto staring bullets at Sai, while the artist just looks back unfazed. Naruto once again laughs nervously as he brings up the idea of testing everyone's abilities, asking if they would all be okay to head off to the training grounds with him. With them all agreeing, they start walking towards the training grounds. With the group being quiet throughout the whole trip, Yamato tries to get to know his new teammates, being Naruto and Sasuke, a bit more. He already knows Sai quite well, but he's trying to connect a little bit with Naruto and Sasuke. We're the only one who really talks being Naruto, and Yamato at least gets to know the boy a bit. However, he soon learns that he has a lot of work cut out for him with this team. When they arrive at the training grounds, the group see Yamato go from a pretty happy face to a very serious one. One that actually even scares Naruto. With him going on to say, Now, I'm about to put you all through a very intense training test. Are you all going to be okay doing this? Everyone's unsure of what he means, and Yamato doesn't explain much, as he asks the group to walk into the forest. With them doing so, after a walking for a while, they soon reach a point in the forest where they can no longer see where they entered from. Yamato tells the group to stop, with the leader of Team 7 explaining, Now, your challenge is to escape the forest first. With both Naruto and Sasuke scoffing, thinking this should be easy. However, Yamato goes on to explain. I will be trying to stop you throughout this whole thing, so don't go thinking I will be taking this easy on you. I'll be fighting you as if you were a proper opponent. Alongside this, only two of you can pass this challenge. For passing this challenge, I will treat you to a free meal. However, the person who fails, being the one person who doesn't escape. You will have to carry all of our gear on our next few missions. I don't care how much the others bring, it's your job to carry it. With Naruto excited at the thought of getting some free ramen, he's really eager to go. However, Sasuke and Sai don't really care for the free meal, however don't really want to carry the others' stuff, so they get ready to go as well. Yamato says that once he disappears, the test begins, with Yamato then puffing out of sight to the everyone's surprise, but the ever-eager Naruto starts beelining it towards the forest exit, with him getting stopped very fast by a tree branch that shoots out of another tree. This knocking the boy to the floor, with him soon jumping back up and getting ready to run again, 
However, a massive log flies out of the ground, hitting Naruto back straight into Sai and Sasuke. With Naruto shouting out, asking, what the hell is going on? Sai goes on to explain, Yamato has an extremely rare Geki Genkai, which only Yamato, the first Hokage, had. It's wood release. It's extremely rare, and it's very powerful. I advise we keep an eye out for it. Sasuke, hearing this, is shocked. Having known a little bit about this, through some stories and some things in class. However, he's more shocked to hear the fact that Sai knows this. With him now thinking that maybe Sai and Yamato know each other somehow, he doesn't really understand. But he's piecing together that Sai knows more than he is letting on. But not wanting to waste any time, he begins to rush forward. With a piece of wood flying out of the ground going to hit the young ninja. However, he manages to avoid it, but soon gets hit by another log. Which... Yamato sent in preparation. With this knocking Sasuke back, he pulls himself up again and gets ready to try once more, with him rushing off towards the exit, with him getting followed up by Sai, who soon overtakes Sasuke. As the two soon get bombarded by a large amount of woods coming out of the canopies of the trees. They don't know where it's coming from, but they just know to dodge. Sasuke actually manages to dodge quite a few, and this even gets him some praise off Yamato. However, he's soon hit and sent him flying backwards. But for Sai, this is quite trivial. He's able to dodge quite a few and manages to get further than the other two had previously got. Both Naruto and Sasuke watch quite impressed at Sai's abilities. But soon, Sai gets grabbed by a root coming out of the ground. The boy is then flung straight back to where he started, with Sai picking himself up and beginning to think of a way to win this test. He's going to go on and explain to the group that maybe it's a good idea to work together. However, a shout of multi-shadow clone jutsu! stops him in his place as a large puff of smoke appears and soon hundreds of Naruto appear in the forest and begin rushing straight towards the exit. Everyone at first is very shocked at how many clones Naruto has just produced. Even Sai is a little caught off guard after hearing that Naruto could hardly make clones. But this isn't too much that bothers him. With Naruto leading this massive charge, the boy makes it pretty far with his clones taking up a good bit of Yamato's attention the leader of Team 7 having to take down a lot of Naruto clones, trying to find a real one. However, eventually he does find him. With this leading to Naruto getting hit in the chest by a piece of tree, and then another one hitting him straight in the face, and then pinning him straight to a tree. With Naruto beginning to struggle trying to get this wood off his chest, Sasuke thinking Yamato would be distractive, makes a quick run towards the open area of the forest. With him managing to make it as far as Sai had earlier, before Yamato appears in front of the boy and creates an earth wall which stops him in his tracks. With the wall rocketing upwards, soon a huge tree trunk shoots out of the wall. She sends Sasuke crashing through a few trees before hitting the tree Naruto was pinned to. It manages to free the Jinchuriki, however this causes the two to start arguing with one another. Not paying too much attention to his teammates, looks down, quickly draws something and announces, Ninja Art, Super Beast Scroll as a load of creatures appear from a piece of paper that he had just thrown on and rush towards the wall in front of the group. Yamato hearing this and being able to see it after making a bit of a peaky hole gets ready to stop Sai. However, before he realises it, the beasts that sent towards him explode, with Sai having put explosive tags on them, making the wall that was once in front of them now disappear. With this causing a massive explosion, it temporarily blocks Yamato's vision of Sai and the others. Once again, Sai tries to make an escape through the forest, but this time gets caught up by the real Yamato. With the leader of Team 7 not wanting to waste time, he starts fighting Sai, testing out his Taijutsu. With Yamato surprised at how well Sai is doing, however, he does know that he was part of the Anbu, and this is to be expected. With Yamato now a bit distracted, both Naruto and Sasuke see a chance to escape and begin to rush towards the forest exit before getting stopped by a clone of their new team leader, who quickly sends Naruto flying straight back into the forest, but ends up having a fight with Sasuke, where he's surprised to see how Nin is at Taijutsu. Alongside this, Sasuke gets a chance to show off some of his other skills, things like being able to use a fireball, and just how genuinely smart he is in battle. This is something that gets him a compliment out of Yamato, and this annoys Naruto, who is off in the forest and can still hear the talking. With Sasuke and another compliment, and even Sai getting a compliment at this point, Naruto is annoyed, and the boy gets ready to fight once again. However, Sai, being pretty smart and turning his attention towards Naruto very briefly, shouts out, weakling, 
It seems you have a lot of chakra. Make another load of clones. With this pissing Naruto off, making him use a lot more chakra, causing him to make a lot more clones, which all begin to rush towards the exit. The two Yamato slightly distracted actually realise how many clones there are. This makes the clone that's fighting Sai break away from his fight briefly and shouts out while doing some hand signs, Wood style, giant forest jutsu, this causing his arm to turn into a massive amount of wood which all hit Naruto's clones, knocking him backwards, however gives Sai a chance to escape. With him managing to break out of the forest, he is the first one to escape. Yamato's clone who is fighting Sasuke also gets distracted by this briefly. Seeing Sai escape, Sasuke takes the quick opportunity to pull a quick manoeuvre and manages to slide through Yamato's legs and escape the forest himself, being in second place, meaning that Naruto has lost. With Naruto pulling himself up off the ground, having taken quite a beating, Yamato praises the two who had passed, telling Sai it was a good idea to use Naruto as a distraction. However, he goes on to explain how they both abandoned their teammate, and in a real combat zone, that would have caused Naruto's death. Next time, look for a way that they can all escape. But Yamato going on to explain how if they had all escaped at the same time, they all would have passed, and he would have carried their luggage for them. But for now, that'll do. He's proud of all of them, and soon walks into the forest to pull Naruto up off the ground. Naruto being pissed off that he was used as a distraction, is about to go beat some sense into Sai. However, Yamato praises the boy for having such a large amount of chakra and using such an interesting jutsu in such a large way, telling the boy that if he got some proper training in, he would be able to do a load of damage with that amount of chakra, which gets a smile out of Naruto's face. Yamato turns his attention towards everyone and says that he's looking forward to working with all of them, and they will all meet up tomorrow for some true training. And with that, he calls the day there. And this is where I'm leaving this part. In this timeline, we're going to see a lot of changes, thanks to the fact that we have swapped the team up quite a bit. I know I, the title is What If Yamato Led Team 7, but Sai had the opportunity to be here. And I think he's kind of slept on, I think he's got some potential, so we'll see what he can do. Anyway, I hope people like this, and I'm hoping people want to see more of it. I don't know if I'll continue it if it doesn't do too well, but for now I don't really know. Um... Maybe I'll do a few parts just to see how it goes because I think Yamato's a really good character who just didn't get a lot done to him in the anime. I like, you know, okay, I don't like Yamato, but the reason behind this what if is because I think he has potential. Originally, I didn't like Tien before I started making what ifs, and now I love Tien, I think he's a Chad. So I'm hoping that the same effect can happen here with Yamato. Anyway, um, with that small bit aside, I hope people have a beautiful day, I hope people have enjoyed, and I hope people want to see more. I hope you all have a great day, or a good night, and I'll see you next time.